My dear friends, welcome to Rajeshikar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. In this lecture, we will try to understand Adamic Order Index. The next important feature for us is called the Adamic Order Index. So if you just Google search for it and go to the Wikipedia page for Order Index, then you come across this particular uh, page, isn't it? Order index is a measure that was introduced in 2000, uh, in 2003 to predict links in social networks, isn't it? It is a measure introduced in 2003 to predict links in social networks. So this feature was specially designed for predicting links in social media social media and social networks are in so on social media platforms let's understand what this index or number is given two vertices x and y suppose let me say i have two vertices x and y suppose if you are given two two vertices let's assume uh, this is my vertex x this is vertex x and uh, this is vertex y uh, what what about this vertex all other you, you all other users u1 let me say u1 u2 u3 let me say i have three users isn't it u1 u2 u3 which are connected to this user x either connected to this user x uh, to the user x either inwards or outwards are called the neighborhood suffix you need not bother about whether it is inward link or outward link therefore what is the neighborhood of x u1 u2 u3 this is the different definition of neighborhood as compared to the definition as compared to the definition we saw in k nearest neighborhood algorithm in the case of graphs any user who is connected to a vertex for example this is y let me consider this vertex y yes this is what this is y isn't it for example this is y how some 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 other vertices u4 u5 u6 which are connecting to y therefore what is a what is the neighborhood of y neighborhood of y is u4 u5 u6 isn't it now let's write the formula for order index between two vertices x and y is summation over summation over u that belongs to neighborhood of x intersection neighborhood of y i will i will break it up and explain order index what is this sigma u belongs to n of x intersection n of y 1 by log of mod n u so let's look at this let's uh, draw a diagram imagine if i have if i have vertex x let me say I have vertex x and I have vertex y, isn't it? Let's assume I have bunch of vertices here. I have just from this, uh, from the, for what is the neighborhood of x? I have neighborhood of x here. These are the points which are in the uh, neighborhood of x, isn't it? Yes, therefore here uh, I have edges, uh, edges from, uh, let me say I have another another vertex uh, another uh, another vertex y isn't it what if you if you observe carefully here just if you observe carefully what happens just see here vertex x this is vertex y these points are neighborhood points this is neighborhood of x isn't it and this is uh, neighborhood of y there are few points which are common to neighborhood of x and neighborhood of y if you take neighborhood of x and neighborhood of uh, y just if you observe i have just from these vertices to x and neighborhood of y there is a overlap between neighborhood of x and neighborhood of y just observe there is an overlap there is an overlap between neighborhood of x and neighborhood of y if you if you take neighborhood of x and neighborhood of y let's assume let's assume that let's assume that there is some intersection isn't it u1 let me say let me assume just let me assume u1 u1 is connected to x u1 is connected to y just observe this one your u1 is connected to 
u1 is connected to x your u1 is connected to y if u1 is a very large neighborhood isn't it let me say u1 is let's uh, u1 is some some sort of uh, just see if you compare u2 yes what what is the difference uh, between u1 and u2 u1 has very large neighborhood just see u1 has u1 has large neighborhood has large neighborhood this point is important why because u has fall not a, a, a x x is following u1 y is following u1 not only that one so many other persons also so many other persons also following u1 that's important here so many people so many people isn't it let's let's take u2 which has small neighborhood here u2 has small neighborhood small neighborhood this point is important if you compare u1 and u2 your u2 has which has small neighborhood let's uh, let's assume u1 u1 in, is in both x and y are connected to u1 and u2 isn't it just say x x is connected to u1 x is connected to u2 y is also connected to u1 y is also connected to u2 i am fo i am following let me say u1 is some celebrity celebrity means so many people may follow it didn't let, let me say u1 is shakira isn't it i am following shakira uh, shakira means let's assume u1 u1 is celebrity which has got so many followers therefore neighborhood of x is high isn't it therefore i am following shakira let it be u1 and someone in in argentina let me say i am in india i am following shakira someone in argentina is also following shakira does not necessarily means i should follow i sh i should following x and y if you have large neighborhood if there is a vertex u1 let's say u1 is in the neighborhood of x u1 is in the neighborhood of x and neighborhood of y if the neighborhood of u1 itself is very large then there is a very small chance that x and y are going to be related but on the other hand vertex vertex like u2 where x is connected to u2 and y is connected to u2 and u2 itself has small neighborhood here u1 neighborhood is u2 has u2 has small neighborhood small neighborhood u1 has large neighborhood like shakira u1 isn't it x is following shakira y is following shakira so many people are following shakira that doesn't mean x is related to y why because its neighborhood is very very large whereas in the case of u2 its neighborhood is very small therefore x is x is following u2 u2 is following u2 is following y u2 itself has small neighborhood of course in u2's neighborhood you have both x and y then very likely that u2 x and y other people in the neighborhood because the size of the neighborhood is small most likely to belongs to small group of friends from college or they may be from same college from work place uh, from same school this is this is a core idea of order index if neighborhood of is neighborhood of just if you observe this formula i am just try to i am i am recalling i am reiterating this i am repeating this u1 has got large uh, neighborhood you so many people are following u1 uh, we are assuming that u1 is a celebrity like shakira in that case x is following u1 y is also following u1 x is in india let me say y is in argentina that doesn't mean x and y are related to each other where u2 has got small neighborhood x is following u2 u2 is following y y means there is a possibility that x and y are related if neighborhood of u is large if neighborhood of u is large if neighborhood of u is large means what this number is large mod n of u number of users number of neighbors n of u is large isn't it if n of u is large if u1 has large number of neighbors so the value of n of u1 is large value of n of u1 mod is large isn't it in that case log of 
log of n of mod u1 is large in that case 1 by 1 by log of mod n of u1 it decreases this value decreases so the contribution contribution of nodes like u1 which has law which has a large number of neighbors to the uh, to large number of numbers the contribution i will repeat so the contribution of node nodes like u1 which has large number of neighbors to the order index is going to be small why because 1 by log of mod of n of u1 is small isn't it so in a nutshell if if i have a vertex like u1 so there is a less chance that there is a less le, less chance that x and y are connected x is going to following y there is less chance that x is following x is uh, going to follow y or y is following to x is, isn't it if I have more vertices like U2, it's very important that vertex like U2 has small neighborhood. So the probability U2, X and Y are sm smaller, have smaller neighborhood may be friends. There is a higher chance that X could follow, X could following and Y, uh, X could follow Y and y, uh, y, y could follow X, isn't it? this is the core idea of order index look at it order index is basically one line summary just see this one line summary what is this one line summary just read this one what it says just see this one what is my one line summary just read this one it's a one look look at order index is basically one line summary here based on the concept that co concept that common elements with very large neighborhoods are lesser significant when predicting a connection very nice one nice uh, uh, nice one line summary it's because two people Ad adamic and uh, who introduced this one two people adamic and uh, order it's uh, it's it's because of two people one is adamic and another one is adar it's a very simple feature we can and we can understand the intuition intuition computing computing is straightforward we just have to compute uh, compute uh, the we are taking the um, suc uh, successors in the graph and uh, and their intersection isn't it remember order index is actually defined for undirected graphs and not for directed graphs and very straightforward formula you can also use it for directed graphs like uh, following and follower graphs i request you to ju just go through this what is adamic order index um, we will continue we, in lecture number for, for if you have any difficulty please keep a comment in lecture number 514 i will discuss about this particular connectivity what is that chord connectivity uh, so it's a not connectivity chord centrality if you speak strictly i will discuss about chord centrality in my next lecture that is lecture number five and four thank you very much